Hey, how you doing? Is your social life falling straight to the gutter? Are you tired of your food not being the life of the party? Matter of fact, have you ever been the life of the party? Well, I bet you want to make food like that so bad. And you're probably wondering, okay, bully, how do I do that? Well, keep watching. This is a three-step tutorial on how to make your very own hot pot that's so good that no one will ever laugh or make fun of your food again. Okay, I'm just kidding with all of that, but seriously, this is really good, so like, keep watching. Let's go! So, we bought a hot pot on Amazon, and we've never used it, so... Thanks, Amazon. We are at the Asian World Market, um, and we need some ingredients, so come with us and let's go. Uh. <laughs> We were looking at this sauce. Ava's trying to find like a chicken one. I think we're gonna try some. I think this is like chili. I don't know what we got. Oh, here's the chili oil. Yes. Yup. Okay. Ooh, shrimp crackers. So somehow they didn't have the veggies or meat we wanted, so we're running in the Walmart. So here's everything we got. For veggies, we have these mushrooms, some Napa cabbage, and some sugar snap peas. Some of these dried noodles, kind of like ramen. Udon noodles, cuttlefish balls, dumplings, some Korean rice cakes. And these are the two hot pots mixes we got. I'm not too sure which one we're gonna try. We got some spicy chili paste. Black vinegar, sesame oil, chili oil. This was as close as we could get at Walmart. Still thin, still gonna be good. Got some cooked shrimp. All right, so now that everything is prepped, that's honestly what took the longest, just prepping everything. So we're only gonna do a third of the hot pot mix. We can probably do like half of that. A third, let's start, let's, let's do a third and try it. Okay, okay. Oh shoot, I need some. It looks like that, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's my sauce. I added... Family soy sauce, a little bit of hoisin sauce, just a dash of this chili paste because that's already kind of spicy. Uh, a little bit of sesame oil and like a dash of black vinegar. Mm -hmm. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this since all of the ingredients are kind of customizable. But as a general rule of thumb, you're gonna always wanna add your frozen things and things that take longer to cook first, such as like thick vegetables, as you can see carrots, um, anything that just takes longer to cook, you wanna add first. Then you can start throwing in things like noodles and such and such, but really at this point, you just get to go in, go ham, have fun. Uh, then you can add in your meats. They cook pretty quick. Just keep an eye on them and don't lose them like I am here, but... No. <laughs> Come back! Oh my god, I got oh, it. Oh. <laughs> They're so hot. They were right. It's a hot pot. It's a hot pot for sure. Mmm. Mm. All over my lips, Chris. This is really spicy. <laughs> you can probably do like half of that. It's supposed to be a it's so good though. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you get the hang of it, you can really make hot pot out of anything and it just becomes such a really fun way to spice up dinner. We love doing this all the time with friends, but thank you guys for checking out the video and also a huge thank you for 250 subscribers. That means the world to us and you guys are the best. But yeah, bye bye.